Hi, I'm Irene with Daniels Manufacturing Corporation, and today I'm going to show you the HX4 and HX3 crimp tools. These tools work with dozens of interchangeable die sets and are extremely versatile. They eliminate the need for having an individual crimp tool for each unique crimping application. First up, the HX4, mill number M22520, slant 5-01. This is an open frame tool with a full cycle ratchet control. The HX4 is used in combination with DMC's Y dies, which come in one, two, and three cavity configurations and are designed to crimp ferrules, coax connectors, contacts, splices, and terminals. Today, we're going to demo the HX4 with the Y501 die set. This particular die set is used to crimp insulated terminals. With the handle of the tool in the open position, align the slot on the die with the rail on the tool and push the die into place until you hear it click. Repeat for the bottom. To permanently secure the die in place for production environments, use the included pins and place the longer one in the top of the tool and the shorter one in the ram. With the dies installed, align the terminal using the built-in locator. Insert the wire into the wire barrel and squeeze the ratchet. You've now produced a reliable crimp. To remove the die set, place the die removal tool under the bottom die of the tool and open the handle. Using the same tool, apply pressure to the button on top of the tool and remove the die by hand. For a more compact and ergonomic solution, opt for the HX3 mill number M22520 slant 10-01. This tool uses X dies and is ideal for crimping ferrules a quarter inch or smaller. All of these tools are proudly manufactured in the USA and are listed on the DOD's Qualified Product List. To purchase these tools, visit our website at www.dmctools.com and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials to come.